Good afternoon. We have new details about a shooting that happened in East Austin overnight. An 18-year-old shot and killed, and right now police are looking for a suspect. Our Kate Wyda is live where this happened. Spoke to the mother of the victim. Kate, what's the latest? Well, good afternoon. The shooting happened around 1.40 this morning. This apartment complex right here behind me, this is the Walnut Creek apartment complex off Springdale Road. And this afternoon, you can see police have cleared the scene, but they are looking for the person or people responsible for killing this teenager. Now, here's a picture of him. He's 18-year-old Jarrell Earls. His mother told me he attended McCallum High School until the 11th grade when he dropped out because he started having children. Now, just before 2 o'clock this morning, police received several 911 one calls about shots fired in the parking lot. When they arrived, they found Earl's shot there. EMS tried to save his life, but he was pronounced dead at the scene. If this apartment complex sounds familiar, that's because an Austin police officer shot and killed 18-year-old Nathaniel Sanders back in 2009. Earl's mother told me her son was here to visit his cousin and aunt, and while he has been in trouble with the law before, she never thought something like this would happen. These are teenagers that then grew up and they still think it's like elementary where you fight and it's all right. But now it's fight and you go get a gun. That's not cool. Well, and Earls leaves behind two children ages four and two. In fact, his daughter was turning two today. And so family is certainly sad because not only were they planning a party for this two-year-old today, but now they're going to have to plan a funeral for her father. We're we'll live in East Austin, Kate White on KXAN News. All right, and as Kate mentioned, the Walnut Creek Apartments was where an Austin police officer shot and killed Nathaniel Sanders and wounded another man in 2009. This APD dash cam video shows then-officer Leonardo Quintana firing at the men. The car they were sleeping in was linked to several crimes in the area. Quintana said Sanders reached for a gun when he woke him up. The Sanders family settled a wrongful death lawsuit with the city of Austin for $750,000 earlier this year. And looking in-depth at the crime numbers now on Walnut Creek, this is APD Crime Index. It shows violent and property crime still a problem in that area, even though APD says they have cleaned things up. There have been 15 assaults at this complex since this time last year, and one rape, 10 burglaries, 11 thefts. You can find these numbers on the Austin Police Department website.